Hello, this is a video tutorial on how to make an add-on image for Left 4 Dead 2 add-on. Uh, an add-on image is a JPEG file which has to be included in the VPK add-on and which the game uses for uses to make a thumbnail for add-on, which you can then see in add-ons menu in the game. Now, at some point back in 2010, there was an update that screw screwed things up, and now the only trusty way to make an add-on image is to use VTF edit for that. Now, those uh, of you who do the texturing for any Source Engine game or been modding for Left 2, obviously know about VTF edit and have used it. So, uh, for for anyone else, uh, you can always download it at the link which I will provide in the description. Alright, so let's get to the add-on image itself. So, you start with an image of a 128 by 128 pixels, so it's a square 128 pixel image. Uh, in the actual game, though, the resolution of the add-on image that you gonna see in the add-on menu is just slightly bigger than that. It, it just it's like 130 something square. But there's so it, it's gonna be slightly upscale. But there's really no need to go for higher, like 256. There's really don't uh, really not gonna make any difference. So the resolution you just need is 128 pixel square. Then of course we fill it with some content and since it's gonna be a JPEG file that there doesn't need any to be any transparency so it's a solid filled image. Um, then you save it. There's actually a variety of uh, formats you can save it with because any of these formats you can open with VTF edit. You can save it in BMP, in JPEG, in PNG, in TGA, any of that. But I would recommend PNG for this particular case because it has the lowest file size while maintaining the decent uh, picture quality. It's actually comparable to TGA and you don't need TGA here because you don't need alpha channel. And again, PNG is better than TGA in this particular case because you can see the thumbnails of PNG in Windows Explorer and the windows will be able to open the PNG in uh, Windows Image Viewer. So just go for PNG uh, and then you right click on the on the PNG and click open with VTF edit. If you don't have it here, of, of course you go over to choose default program, you browse for the program and it's always going to be located at Windows, uh, it's C at C program files, uh, NEMS tools. Even though I have 64-bit OS operation system, 64-bit uh, Windows 7, it's, it's, it's in the actual program files, so it's in the actual 64-bit program files. So I select it, I open with the VTF edit, and then of course you can see the dialog window for yeah, it's actually an absurd bit that you first you have to convert to VTF to then export as JPEG. So again, those of you who mod and do the texturing, you you know what the, all these settings mean. Uh, now it doesn't really matter any of these settings, especially in the second and third tabs. That is, doesn't matter. I'm just showing you so that by watching video you can ensure that all the settings are correct. But these are default settings for VTF when you install it. The resources, don't need to check anything here. 7.4 format, well, it's the standard for VTF format for Level 2. This, the, these are all the default settings. You don't need any of that to change. Uh, here's the map maps. You don't need map maps, but it doesn't matter again. Right now, it doesn't matter at all. The only thing that matters here is the general options. Three of these options. Uh, it's gonna be the texture type, the volume texture, because it's not an animated texture and it's not an envy map, which again, modders know what that is. It's it's a kind of reflection envy map. You have to select volume texture. 
And for the normal and alpha format, just select the PGR38 for both of these, because if you go for DXT compression, that's gonna mess up your image quality. So to, to not have any image degradation at this point, just select PGR38 at both of these uh, first and second option and select volume texture for third option. Yeah, and make sure it doesn't have, you don't have a resize option ticked. You don't need that. You don't need normal map tip, you don't need uh, meat map stick. So that's your settings. Then you press OK. And then you press Ctrl E or select File Export. Choose the JPEG file type, and you're gonna you have now you save it in in the same folder that you have your add-on in. So this is it has to be saved in a in a root folder of the VPK. It's the same folder where you have your materials folders, model folders, and the same root folder when you have your add-on info txt file. So. I'm gonna pack it here, put it in the add-ons folder, and the the new VPK will always be at, at the very bottom of the add-on list. And here you can see we got ourselves an add-on image. Looks quite good. Yeah, actually if you want if you would want to your add-on image to blend with, you know, with with the all this dark area around it, it's probably best to just have the black background. Here we have a alignment on a black background. All right, um I think my video card's about to overheat, but that's off topic. Uh, I have to mention f uh, a few other things though, but for the tutorial itself it's actually over. But I'm gonna mention a few other things as well. Uh, first thing is that if you would want to update an add-on image in the existing uh, VPK add-on, so I mean if you've made an add-on image, you've looked at it and thought, all right, I'm gonna update it, I wanna improve it. But the add-on itself was already recognized for the game. And if you just update the same the same VPK with updated add-on image, it's not gonna change because, because uh, the game, the first time the game recognizes an add-on, it creates an, an, a thumbnail for it, which is located at, uh, at left.2, uh, the main left.2 folder, then you go to materials slash VGUI slash add-ons, and then you can see all the all the your add-ons. They have located they located in the corresponding named folders, and inside each folder you can see an add-on image if it exists actually. So if you would if you want to your game to regenerate the thumbnail for your add-on image, then you'd have to delete it or just delete all this just delete all these files. Uh, second issue is that the reason the reason why the add-on image will always look worse than you actually made it is because the game screws it up. Because when the game converts your JPEG add-on image, well actually first it converts to TGA then to VTF, when it converts, if you open it in with a VTF edit, you can see that it did not put the no meat map and no level of detail flags, which are necessary for all GUI HUD elements. I believe that is the reason because you see the add-on image looks quite good here, but it looks quite crappier in the actual game. Uh, even though it does have a no lot um, parameter in the shader settings here. So I believe this is the game's fault of converting the image. 
that's why because the add-on that's why add-on images look will always look crappier than you actually made it and you can't do anything about it um, just another thing to mention in my own uh, game menu mode I've decreased the the size of the add-on image in add-on menu so in my menu it's not really been upscaled and it's under the 128 pixels um, well I guess that's it uh, thanks for watching and I hope this will uh, help someone <laughs>